I shall deal with him later. For now, we must make haste to the palace. I think it was possible, but I ate too much candy. I'm full of candy here, so... yes? Without candy? How are you gonna save anyone without candy? Do you have candy? We had lots of candy in Fivetropolis, but not anymore. Can I have some? Okay, um, where is your candy? Ooh, yes please! Mmm, -hmm. it's air flavored! Yummy, yum, yum! Trade your cards. I know you do. Puppies, kittens, rainbows. Um, puppies on rainbows with with kittens. Thoughts, so I don't remember reality. My mom taught me that back in Fort Town. She grew up during the war, the big one. I miss her so much. I thought this would be fun, but, but lemonade on a hot day, getting tucked into bed, a nice warm blanket on a cold night. That makes me feel a bit better. Do you have any happy thoughts? Things being better forever. That's a happy thought. Things being better forever! With ice cream and puppies and hugs and moms and dads and families and cookies and kittens and cookies shaped like kittens and made out of ice cream! I heard they have unicorn ponies in Sixth Town.
What are you doing here? I don't think so. I'm Nanny's favourite, so that makes me the most important kid. You're not important. Yes, it is good for me. I always knew I was a sixer and finally the rest of the world is acting like it. Honestly, some of the kids here, you can put them in a sixer uniform, but you can't change who they are and... Wait a minute. Even? Even! It's me, Lucky from One Town. What are you doing here? Um, you clearly are. What's going on? Wait a second. You're not even 12 yet. You're too young to be here. You're an imposter. No, you listen, even. I rolled the quince dice to get here, and you're... You're a cheater. You don't belong here. You're an imposter. You're an imposter. I'm telling. Nanny. Nanny for tuna. Nanny for tuna. What? No! Hey, dice. Impossible. The queen destroyed them all. Where did you find that? Tell me. No, you tell me where my sister is, you witch. Oh, <laughs> you are the sister, aren't you? All alone, far from home. <laughs> <laughs> Shout my nanny leave your bones and now there. Boys and little girls, turn your teeth to Nanny's pals!
Two sisters, both alike in dignity. But within one woman lies dark malignity. Fun in games till one is gone. Some creeping darkness lately spawned. Retributions to change the past. New rules to make the present last. Death and ruin for those who oppose. As went the sister, so the whole world goes. You can, and you will. The sacrifice is necessary. But I don't want to. The dice demands it. Sometimes we must set aside what we want, in order to get what we need. Push her over, Odd. Push her over, or I'll let the dice decide whether you should take her place! Odd, please. I'm sorry I was mean to you, and your sister. Odd. Please, you can't do this, you can't! You're running out of time, Odd. Even knew she had to find her missing friend. She gathered her courage, squared her shoulders, and... I just want to go home. <sighs> and realized that she just wanted to go home. Oh, but home was very far away. She had no idea how to get there. Where's <laughs> <laughs> that stupid ghost when you need it? <laughs> I see. Oh. 
Even found herself approaching the edge of Vorburg, or rather, the silent remains of that once glorious city. The Queen had torn it to pieces during the war, years ago, in her mad search for... something. The only trace of it at all were the ruined and lifeless stones, shrouded in fog, lost to memory. Even it was like an impossible vision, something she could scarcely believe. A rebuilt fort town, squatting by the ruins of what came before. A city without history, but who called it home? Someone told me four may sound a real dice. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, poor burgers and foreigners, I present to you for the first time on the casino main stage a real. Like crazy on tonight's show. Oh, sure thing. What manner of destruction will it unleash upon these fighting grounds? What rules and norms will it tear asunder as its true power is finally unleashed? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> when I roll them bones. Why isn't it doing anything? Come on, give it a kick! Ugh, worthless! Dicey! I'm not leaving here without you, Dicey. Leave him alone. This dice is under my protection. Ah, what a fine job you've been doing of it too. But I am always up for a gamble. Ladies and gentlemen, a surprise. This is a huge challenger. <laughs> 
Broken old Jack in the Box. <laughs> He's mine. Give him back. You want this garbage back? Yes, and he's not garbage. Well, go get it. I should have never put you in danger. We don't belong here and I just, I just want to go home. Did someone say, smuggle me home? Because you, little lady, are in the presence of Ludo Betts, the greatest person smuggler in all of random. Y you trust me, right? Smuggler, runner, pirate, pathfinder, it's all the same thing, just with a different coat of paint. And I'm the best there is at doing it. You see, I've got my bag. Top of the line, nothing so fine, purely benign. 
It's bigger on the inside. Me and my brother can fit anyone inside. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I mean I can. My brother, Bruno, I lost him to the high roller, who I'm betting you know. We gambled, we lost, and now he owns him. And you, well, you've got yourself a real dice, which means you have a real chance to free Bruno. Do that, and I'll be real motivated to do you a favour in turn. Because you don't have enough pips. Any fool can see that. Look, the high roller seems all high and mighty, but he's got a weakness. It's in his name. Roll a higher number than his and he'll lose everything. You just gotta fix your dice up. And you're gonna let that stand? Take revenge, show him who's boss, solve both our problems in one fell swoop, fix your dice and beat the high roller. Then you'll save Bruno and I swear on my eyes that I'll let you inside my bag and me and my brother will take you anywhere you want. Anywhere. Even had no idea where she could find more darts for her dice. So she fell back to exploring. It had gotten her this far at least, which, if we're being precise, is to a point where she no longer wanted to explore. Hmm. Uh, look, uh, life's complicated sometimes. Oh, there, stranger. I've played enough times in my time to see that you could use a friend. Now that's the first step. Friend, to figuring out what you do want. There was a time I wanted to get back home too. Back when I traveled the six wards, singing for my supper, and every night as I took in the applause, whether it was there or not, I think this is it. It's time for me to go back home. And every morning I'd get up and go somewhere new and start the whole thing all over again. But now, of course, I figure I didn't actually want to go back home. Not really, anyway. Didn't know what real longing was till I came here. <laughs> Not a blessed thing. But when the foreman came here, he took over right quick. No one could roll a higher number than him. Except for Her Majesty, of course. I refused to play for him, and he smashed my fingers up real nice so I couldn't play for anyone. But, yeah, that's no bother. I still remember my songs. They're all right here. You see, in my heart. Well, silver linings, friend. Now I can live my days without expectation. Ain't nobody expecting nothing from a man on the street with busted hands. Did you know the foreman's a relative of Nanny Fortuna? That's how come he can keep himself out of jail despite all the heretical dice rolling around here. <laughs> nah, he is a ruffian, but he is his own man. And well, besides, I'm just sharing a hearsay. <laughs> well, would you look at that? I haven't seen one of your kind in years. Quite the charmer, too. But looks like you're a bit worse for wear, if you don't mind me saying. I have no doubt that you will, stranger. I can see it in your eyes. You're not the kind of girl who lets the world push her around for long. You'd think all that power would make the foreman happy, but I reckon now he's just afraid of losing it. He's turned this whole town into a reflection of that. And yet, 
In the middle of it all is a small little dark alley where you can be safe and see the world as it truly is. All that power in the world. It don't mean a thing even next to the people you love. The world's got its fair share of horror, but beauty too. And we just have to do the best we can with the cards we're dealt. I know you'll do good out there. Ah, shucks. An old man like me gets a lucky guess once in a while. Not even the full man could take that from us. Glad you're well, friend. Oh, it was a nice moment of fellowship and kindness in a town that had not shown her much. Even was thankful for that. Fix your dice and beat the high roller. Then you'll save Bruno, and I swear on my eyes that I'll let you inside my bag. And me and my brother will take you anywhere you want. Anywhere. Hey, you want to hear the saddest story in the world? Okay, so there's this baby. No, you're telling it wrong. It's not just a baby. It's a duck baby. A duck baby. And the duck baby gets stuck in a hole and gets turned into a spider. And then he dies. Ducks eat spiders. So now he's going to be duck dinner. That's why he's sad. Okay, well, he doesn't know if ducks do or not, so that makes him even sadder still. Yeah, my brother told me this story, and he cried. Then, my friend told the story, and I cried. Now we're telling you the story, and you're gonna cry. Oh, it's okay. It's just a story. Feel better soon. Bye! There, there. All hope ain't lost. Shh. Someone's here. Good. You can do that after you help us. Bye bye there. Oh, for guys. Speculating. Still the boy. Still the boy, eh? 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 Never again, she says. Imagine not speculating on the future. <laughs> insane! Like literally, actually insane. Ah, the boy. What did I think? My idol. Yeah, that's right. You're an innocent kid. She'll listen to you. With a card. What's the boy? For speculation! Thank you, kid! Trying to make an honest living. Honestly depressing.
Vigilante for hire. Freelance police for hire. Raccoon tour for hire. <laughs> Freelance vigilante raccoon tour. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Trade it here for a new one. We've you ever seen a ghost, kid? Perfect, perfect. I collect ghost stories, you know. Kind of a premier ghost story collector around here. Kind of the only one, too. So, tell me the story of this ghost. Chilling! Oh, what happened to the ghost? Why did it disappear? Who was it? Who am I? What are we all even doing here? <laughs> I love it. Boy, listen, you come across any other spooky stories, you let me know. Or if I had three new stories, oh, I'd have enough material for a new ghost tour. <laughs> Ancient spirits that come out of your head to fight in battles? Right. <laughs> Not bad, little fella, but come on! I want real ghost stories! Not fantasies. Oh, I can pay, too. I'll pay a child for ghost stories. Don't even act like I won't. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Go on. Children are both more likely to see a ghost and more likely to be completely terrified by the encounter. <laughs> I can't wait. Ah, uh, I, uh, hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, and? Did they, um, you know... Die at the end and become a ghost? Huh. Well, that's, uh, well, that is technically a ghost story then, and, uh, well, I I'll say thanks, but, uh, but I don't want to. You see, that ghost story is as disappointing as it is not spooky, which is to say it is extremely both those things. Oh, oh, keep trying, though. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Ooh. Look, Fort Town may have its problems, but it's better than where I came from. It, um, it is better, right? Look, Fort Town may have its problems, but it's better than where I came from. It, um, it is better, right? I came here to escape having to work on the... You don't look like you're from around here. I knew it. I'm from Two Town, so I can tell an out-of-towner. I came here to escape having to work on the Upside Down. Not sure if it was worth it, but... <laughs> It's too late now! Say what? Say what now? I can't believe this! This is terrific! Finally, some good news in this loathsome ruin of a city crouching beside an even more loathsome, even more ruined city! That's right! I never acclimatized to Fortown! And Loud One is here to celebrate! Woo! 
I'm gonna head back tomorrow. Here, kiddo, take this. I never had use for it, but maybe you will. See you around, kiddo. Hey, well, I came from one town and I got so trapped bad. here in oh. Thorberg Square. No oh. for me to see. I'm sure some of you want some food, though. I call lots of food. Make yourself comfortable, kid. I hate gaming. That's right. I said it. I hate gaming. Oh, you spoke to my friends. Of course you did. Oh, look at me. Asking a kid what I should do with my life. But I am asking. What do I do, kid? Go back to speculating on games to fit in? Or give it up and risk being lonely forever? I feel bad doing it. It might work for them, but it's not working for me. I want something different out of life, something better. Thanks, stranger. You're the only one I've met here who's not addicted to letting chance rule their lives. It's so... Uh, random? Well, bye forever! Well, bye forever! Does she want to speculate with us? Oh boy, I bet. You can't just stand here. Don't you know there's a war going on? Here, in Vorberg, the Queen's tearing it to pieces. Heh, <laughs> you're an agent for the Queen, aren't you? Well, you won't get any intel out of me. Now scram! Back again, huh? Oh, I have. My friend Booza. She got in the way of the Queen's search back at the start of the war. Oh, I don't know what she was looking for, but she was like a woman possessed. 
suppose I didn't do nothing but be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and I was it. Dunjo. Still hear her wails at night sometime. Hear her in the night, I do. Wailing, but not in pain, but confusion. Like she doesn't know she's dead, but can't figure out why she's not living anymore. Only ever heard her say words once. Got a glimpse of herself in the water. I don't deserve to be hated, she whispered, clear as day. Then she went back to wailing. Ain't no time for apologies. Not when there's a war going on. Now run along, kid, before you catch a bullet. Back again, huh? Razor stakes with a new car. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Oh, war. A source of many, many ghosts. Both dead and living. Oh, I smell tragedy. A thing I've learned sometimes even more memorable than even the finest victory. What else is it about? Oh, sounds sad and unfair and very, very spooky. Oh, I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. Thank you, kid. Heard any good ghost stories lately? I've never been to the Soothsayer District. People disappear in there. They mess with powers they shouldn't. Boss only accepts challengers into his arena who roll high like he can. And between you and me, <laughs> I don't think we're going to see another four-roller in our lifetime. Show me your dice. What is this? This isn't a four. That's a guaranteed loss, kid. Oh, now get out of here. It's for your own good. Does that? Wow, it's not... I won again? <laughs> Talk about beginner's luck. Seymour, what are you doing here? Hey, even! <laughs> Sorry, guys, uh, I got a bounce. <laughs> My friend, it's good to see you. <laughs> Made it to Forberg, huh? Hey, how goes the brave quest? I'm... I'm heading home, Seymour. But I don't see your sister with you. She's, uh... I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, Seymour. I'm, st I'm starting to think I don't even know who Odd is. Maybe I never did. Maybe it was a mistake to look up to her, to anyone. We all just... We all disappoint other people, don't we? And here I am disappointing you. Hmm. Alright, so you want to go home. Let's start there. You certain about this? That just tells you you're alive. Life's a roll of the dice, right? It's okay to want to go home. It's okay to feel lost or be lost and to just take things one step at a time. Do you know your way back? I will say this. For a woman who seems so disheartened and pessimistic, you've certainly had a lot of success meeting people and securing passage. <laughs> Thank the dice makers for their foresight for that then. Uh, I bring you myself. 
if I could, I'm uh, kinda lost myself. <laughs> One of the Bag Brothers? Yeah, I've met him. Mighty sure of himself, that guy. A little too sure, if you ask me. I heard he gambled away his brother, Bruto. Poor kid. Poor kids. <laughs> Let me guess. You need to get his brother back from the High Roller. Yeah, and the High Roller only ever rolls fours. So if you could roll a five... Even? Easy, easy. I was just getting that part. Here, pass the little guy over. So we just add in the dots he had in two town. And now the extra dots you found back in three dumb. And... <laughs> Meet your new improved, more repaired dicey. Now you can roll up to hey oh mm, hey, mm, oh um four, which is still not enough to beat the high roller. Sorry, even. Well, I know where you could find some more dots, but uh, forget I said anything. Uh, it's dangerous. There's no guarantee of success. You eat an absence of things for breakfast? Weird. Anyway, fine, fine, fine. Just don't tell her I'm the one who sent you. Even go to the soothsayer tents and ask about Uma. Very discreetly. It's not a name you'd throw around just anywhere. And good luck. I'm rooting for you. <clears throat> Don't get eaten. The bag brother. Yeah, he was a little shifty. But it's not like we have a lot of options, Dicey. Look, do you have a better idea? <sighs> I'm sorry, Dicey. Town is having an effect on me. Look, let's let's do what we can. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Kuske, kokos, pa, kuske, kuske na. Gora, <laughs> Oh, Oh, Tell 
Do you think it's true what they say about this place? I don't dare ask anyone for my fortune. You don't even I know what you're walking into, do you? You have no idea. I can shout at you all day, and you'll still do exactly... Have you come to know your fortune? Emma, so you've heard the stories of the spirit. Aren't we all? All I know is that many years ago, something terrible happened. A mother was hunted by a queen, and in escaping her fate, she disappeared. Some say she still haunts these grounds. Some things are beyond even my sight. But don't leave yet, Wanderer. I have not told your fortune. Let me see. Ah, oh, come closer, child. For you, I see something strange. Voyages in a distant land. A journey into random, into darkness. And a queen watches. You have a sister, don't you? Yes, your sister, she, she, she does what she's told, and, and then the three, their heads, they, <gasps> no! No, I don't dare say more. No, too much hangs in the balance, child. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please, please. Even didn't learn much from the fortune tellers. Honestly, I've never cared for them. Narrating things before they happen is strictly against the narrator's code. But she nevertheless had the distinct impression that what lay ahead could be dangerous. Can I interest you in a delightful new rug? Uh, no thanks. I was wondering if you could direct me to Uma. Step inside, child. This rug, this rug is very nice. Ooh, it shows real promise, don't you think? Huh. On the other hand, it is still missing some threads. But I have many rugs here. Which ones are you interested in? The purple rug, yes. A personal favorite. You know, the queen, she'd have us believe we're all different. 
that we need to hate each other. But within us is a light we all share. He is in trouble in one of the foreman's arenas. Ah, yes, the red one. Every time I look at that rug, I think of a poor woman here who loves her partner so much that he's become her whole world, leaving no room in it for herself. Oh, she searches for him near Four Horsemen's Corner. The blue one, a fine choice. <laughs> there are a pair of best friends in this city, or rather, there were, until that friendship was fractured. One of them lives alone near Dice Maker Square. I wonder if that friendship could ever be restored. The future isn't made yet, young one. Weave it to your liking. I can tell you nothing else. You want to find Uma, yes? Then go and keep your dice friend close. Hmm? Ooh, that strange rug seller seemed to know more than she was letting on. Also, I didn't even know she'd be here, so that's weird and spooky. <laughs> For now, even had little choice but to seek out those people she'd mentioned, and hope that when she'd returned, Uma would be there too. That carpet was a mistake. It seems to have a mind of its own. Oh, that one. I don't work on that one anymore. It seems to get darker every time I touch it. That carpet, it's from another time, another place. Its design just came to me in a vision. This rug, this rug is very nice. I don't know, Dicey. It's like this city is a last resort for everyone here. Well, there was one good thing here, at least. Her dislike of the high roller is making even more than motivated to find a way to take him down and earn passage from the bag out of here. I can see what happens to everyone, but they don't do it anyway. Nor any harm, I cause a bucket at all. I got money. A game arena is now accepting new challenges. cheated me. What? No. You cheated me. I can't believe you cheated me. What? No. You cheated me. No, I'm pretty sure you... Hey, it's you! Fr from before! Do you want to play our game? We got all the cheating out of our system now, so we're good. That's the spirit! Okay, so you know how to play Gazoo, so we'll just jump right into it. I'll roll the dice and... Gazoo! Ha! 
<laughs> Imagine a game that simple. Okay, your turn. And like any true gamer, you're gonna roll the house dice, kid. What? You can't yell kazoo now unless you're cheating. Hey, do you have a kazoo card up your sleeve? We haven't even distributed cards yet. Hmm. Should have known a friend of Seymour would cheat like he did. Wait, Seymour cheated? I thought you cheated. Seymour's cheat was to frame me for cheating! Ah, uh, my brain! I can't... What? No, I'm pretty sure you... Hey, it's you! That's the spirit of... Gazoo! It's Gazoo! Come on now, roll it already! Heh, <laughs> your own rigged dice, you mean? No, you're bold! I love good! Oh. Top 10 best worst stratagems ever, honestly. Fooey. Thanks for the game! So, even? How's your adventure going? Ah, the soothsayers. They work in mysterious ways. But if you heed their words carefully, you'll usually end up where you need to be. That's my experience. Even... Don't. Don't just say her name like that. She's even more forbidden than that dice of yours. You must be careful. No problem. I'll always look out for you, even. I see them, Dicey. They look like... me? Oh, and, and there's you! So cute! Ah. Yeah, I think we're in trouble. Even was in trouble? I'm the narrator, so I'm allowed to just tell you things like that. She was definitely in a lot of trouble. And unless she tore them down, those posters were going to make things worse. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Wow. Oh, the soothsayers are treasure troves of spooky stories and ancient knowledge. If you could ever get them to talk to you. So, let's hear it. Ooh, I already like where this is going. And... Classic, classic! Oh, and so mysterious. Who is she? Is she still here? What keeps her here? What does she want from us? Why, oh, it's got tragedy, romance, mystery. I love it! Thank you, kid. Heard any good ghost stories lately? <laughs> Welcome to Forberg. You've got to go where the business is, and I figure that old foreman will buy from me someday. Hey, mate, why so glum? We found each other, and now we can talk and trade cards. Life doesn't get any better than this, you know. See? 
Now I know there's something wrong. Now yeah, listen, mate. I know things get bleak sometimes. Truth is, this was my hometown once. Born and raised here. I left way back before the town got ruined by uh, you know who. And it's, it's weird to be back. Nothing ever stays the same. You turn your back for one moment and, well, you can look around to see what happens. But things get better, right? They have to. Otherwise, they just stay like this, mate. And I don't know how to handle that. Oh, anyway. Enough about me feeling sad. You know what I'd rather feel? I'd rather, I'd rather feel cards in my hands as we trade them, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> you took the words right out of me cabinet. So, even, how's your adventure going? Life's an adventure, even. It has to be. Oh, well, most of the time. Not about. I can't. No, I'm pretty sure you. Hey, it's you. That's the sp. Get you. Come on now, roll it already! And like any true gamer, you're bold! I love it! Goo goo! That horror! Top 10 best worst stratagems ever! Thank I can't. No, I'm pretty sure you. Hey, it's you! That's the. Get you! Ha! <laughs> Imagine a game. And like any true game, good haul. Top 10 best worst stratagems ever. Thanks for the. I can't. No, I'm pretty sure he. Or maybe she.
I can't believe you cheated me. What? No, you cheated me. No, I'm pretty sure you... Hey, it's you! Fr from before! Do you want to play our game? We got all the cheating out of our system now, so we're good. That's the spirit of Gazoo! <laughs> Imagine a game that simple. Okay, your turn. And like any true gamer, you're gonna roll the house dice, kid. Bold stratagem. I love it. Which means I can now roll a... Gugazak! Dang. Horror. Top ten best worst... I can't believe... No, I'm pretty sure you... Hey, it's you! Fr from before! Do you want to play our game? We got all the cheating out of our system now, so we're good. That's the spirit of... Gazoo! Is Gazoo good? Come on now, roll it already! Heh, <laughs> your own rigged dice, you mean? No, you're gonna roll one of our wheel- Gazoo! It's, uh, not, 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 not bad. Dang, what's your wager? Impossible. You'll lose. Oh, you can't win. I roll for initiative and... And? And... You win. Wait, what? Ooh, uh, nicely done. And with no external signs of cheating. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, fair's fair. I guess this card is yours then. Not that it's of any use to you. You'd have to have a living dice for that to work. <laughs> what? Did that dice just say kazoo? Okay, okay, easy, Quark. Goodbye, little miss. I don't like losing, so we're not playing with you anymore. Yeah. Not on my watch, Nanny. You think she's here? Bad form in disguise. No, she could have been the high one.
wanted. You'd better watch out yourself. That dice you've got could get you some unwanted... Hello there. That's a fine dice you've got there. Reminds me of QB. He... Well, he was. There was a time when he was. Me and QB. She was my dice. We did everything together. Fought for people, too. Not like heroes, but... We did good where we could. It was a good life, and... And then the No Dice War came to town. And there was a big climactic fight at the Quarterstone Arena, and... You know, we rolled a... Oh, and we lost. And afterwards, I couldn't face that. Face her! The Queen completely destroyed this once majestic town. You can see the rubble now and think you can imagine what the city was like, but... But, but you can't. This here used to be a place of honour and honesty, of music and magic. We rebuilt, but we lost so much. It, it's not the same. The new Forberg, it's twisted reflection of what was. <laughs> After that, QB and I went our separate ways. I thought so often trying to find her, but as time went on, it just seemed bigger and bigger until... until there was simply too much to apologize for. And so I never have. No, no, I couldn't. I can't. You'd better watch out yourself. That dice you've got could get you some unwanted attention. How? Oh, find QB, enter the arena and win the fight I never could. It'd only be a symbolic victory anyway. The Queen's too strong now. But, but it would be a black eye for her. Yes, she hates people messing with her rules. If you could win that arena fight, that would put a smile on my face. You know, I don't even know your name, but I like your attitude. And if you do decide to face that arena, then I wish you luck. The game arena is now ready for new challenges. I can't believe Foreman ripped me off. In seconds before I was going to rip him off first! Knenast! Oge! Doge! Nanga! Oge! Gaug! Ego! Kas kaike mani! Pääkka moene! Norne home! Pääkka! Okos! Kemeneina! Keino! Taas nikam nervet! Kolkas takimnat rak narmene taik malmene nosnik takapoin kolkas gau taik nainga knenast oikis gai gas kere heilna kolkemas kamane oikis ha kolkis knehe has kemun hale kol taki oike Das Dagim nat doka marai ke. 
She doesn't even look like me. Well, they did do your square shape justice. His hair like the hair of the gods, and his cheeks like the cheeks of the gods. Look, Fort Town may have its problems, but it's better than what Have you I seen my boyfriend? He's perfect. It is better, right? Obsessed? Who wouldn't be? His hair like the hair of the gods, and his cheeks like the cheeks of the gods, and his shoulders. No, like the very shoulders of the gods. The man is perfect. I think about him all the time. Nothing, only him. It's because we're in love. Have you seen him? Last I heard, he wants to challenge one of the foreman's game arenas. But that seems like days ago. Could you deliver a message to him for me? You're a peach. Tell him I love him and that he's perfect. And if he wants ground steak for dinner, to let me know so I can start preparing the fixing. But if he wants chicken breast for dinner, I can do that too. But just let me know so I can start preparing the fixing and ask him what he wants me to wear tonight. And tell him if he doesn't like my hairstyle to just let me know and I'll get it cut before he gets home. Okay? You've got all that? I need to be his own person. Okay, bye. Thanks for delivering my message. An arena is now available for battle. Gamers. Assemble. <laughs>